All right, folks, welcome to the office and editing room of the Connection Outdoors. I've been getting our videos from last season together. Um, we did some hunts at Triple G. We weren't able to get in the woods as much as we wanted to. I did um, have my daughter and grandson down for Thanksgiving, so I was more than happy to give up that week for deer hunting. Uh, I wasn't able to go up to Eric's this year due to a work conflict. So Eric did at least 40 acres this year and was able to look at that. He was not able to get in there. Uh, he did not pick up that lease until right into the beginning of hunting season. So he did not get to scout it as much as he would have liked to. He did, however, have been scouting it since then and plan on scouting it uh, be before the beginning of next season. So I was able to get into the turkey woods a little bit more this year, my work was able to allow me to do that. I did get to do turkey hunting with my nephew up at Triple G and we were also able to hunt Fort Rooker turkey season. So that was a lot of fun and stay tuned for those episodes. I'm, again, I'm working on those. I got a deer this season, so stay connected so you'll get to see that. Also, we're doing a giveaway once we get 100 subscribers, we're going to give away this coffee cup. It has our logo on it. 100 subscribers. I will go into subscribers, and I will pick a subscriber at random. And that subscriber will, we will be in contact with, and we will give that coffee cup away. As far as next season goes, me and Brock have joined the hunting club here close to the house. River Ridge, if I remember correctly, is the name of the hunting club. We will be able to get out there a little bit more as far as on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, one day Brock works out of town. So the weekends that he is able to get home, he'll be able to get out there. And hunt. He won't have to make a special trip to Triple G just to do a little bit of hunting. So, uh, they do have pigs. We'll probably be bringing you some pig footage. We're going to get out there in May, me and Brock, and try to shoot some pigs. Eric had said something about coming down, but I think work conflicts um, and the stuff with the virus and stuff is not going to allow him to come down to to pig hunt. I believe he will be down. We'll be bringing you some footage from when we fall plant. I'm going to try to go up there in September and help him spring or excuse me fall plant. So we'll bring you a little bit of footage from that. Also, he'll have a little bit more footage this coming season because he'll be able to get in that 40 acres and scout it a little bit better. So we'll be bringing you a lot more footage hopefully next year than we were able to this year. I think you will enjoy the footage that we bring you. We've done a drop video about the equipment that we use and, and how we use it, and how much we like it. So we'll be maybe breaking that down a little bit more and see and let you know how we pack our backpacks and then you know what we take if we're going to do an all-day hunt versus a morning hunt or an afternoon hunt. So I'm bring, bringing you a little bit more of that. Hopefully I'm going to be able to do a little bit more bow hunting uh, this upcoming season. I did spend a week at Triple G and bow hunted there. Unfortunately didn't see any deer but that's just the way it goes. So <clears throat> I want to thank everyone that has subscribed, everyone that has watched our video, and everyone that has hung in there with us. We are only striving to get better and bring you better videos. Again, just like in our About page, we are about bringing you our adventures to your door. We are not experts. We are not professionals. We just have a combined experience being outside and hunting, and we bring that to you. Along with, hopefully, we can give you some tips and maybe a little bit of education. So stay connected as we connect you with the outdoors.